the first weekend, the D.C. cops told one of our police reporters, a person named Eugene Baczynski, that if he wanted to, he could look over the possessions of these burglars. They had, two of them had little uh, address books uh, with telephone numbers and addresses. And Baczynski found, in one book it said, H. Hunt White House, and with a phone number. And in another book it said, Howard Hunt W. House. So initials were a little bit mixed, but it's pretty clear that two of these burglars were connected to somebody who was supposed to be at the White House. Uh, that Monday, Baczynski found this out on Sunday night. On Monday, uh, I had Bob Woodward, I gave this information to Woodward, who called, uh, Bob Woodward was the main reporter on the story along with Carl Bernstein, I think many people know that, know those names. Woodward tried to get Colson and called the White House to ask, may I speak to Charles Colson? Of course, we had no idea, who, excuse me, uh, Howard Hunt. Woodward asked to speak to Howard Hunt. And the operator said, well, I'll try to reach him. She didn't get any answer. She said, I'll try Charles Colson's office. These White House operators are marvelous. They're helpful to everybody. You know, they can get, find you wherever you are, but they can also find people in the White House. And there was no reason not to be helpful to Woodward, who's asking about somebody who she thought was a uh, regular worker there. She said, I'll try Charles Colson's office. And then she said, no, he's not there either. She said, you might try. And she named an office on Pennsylvania Avenue, a block away from the, from the White House. That was a, uh, a uh, known then as a public relations group. I think it was probably a, some kind of government front group. At any rate, he called and got Colson there and, uh, and said, uh, why is your name in the possession of men who were arrested in the Watergate? And Colson said, holy shit. 